today on Horseland, when her rude behavior interrupts practice and endangers the horses and their riders, Calypso's freezing. Molly's new cell phone could cause her to lose some old friends. This never should have happened. I love spring. It's just chock full of promise and new beginnings. You're too shy, teeny. Think assertive. Speak loud and clear. Let no one interrupt you. But isn't that rude? Is that a worm talking? Or a very large pig? I am not a very large pig. Proportionally, I am exactly the right size for a pig my age. Oh, so assertive! Brava, porca, brava! Good! I'm so glad my new phone works out here at Horseland. I can't wait to call everyone I know. <laughs> Can you give me Nani's number? Okay. Got it. Thanks. Hey, you. How's my girl? Oh, Scarlet, did I ever miss you? Have a nice carrot button. Yum, that's a good girl. And what a day we have planned. Do we ever? Nani's getting her first Horseland Spring Tour. Hello? Molly? Where are you? Right behind you. You got a cell phone? I saved enough of my allowance money, so my parents finally deemed me mature enough to have my own cell phone. But really, I think they were just tired of me always borrowing theirs. Let me see. Ooh, nice color. Are you kidding? That would clash so badly with my lip gloss. Guess you better not be borrowing it then. Got your speed dial set up yet? Uh, no. Mine first. Not to detract from Molly's entrance into the 21st century. Hello? Amber? Hi! We're about to go out on a ride. Can I call you back? Okay, bye! You need better ringtones. Give me that. Let me see what you've got. Today is Nani's spring tour. And we put together a really delicious picnic lunch. No way! Please! Hello, picnic? Excuse me. That's great. Nani will love it. That one! I love it! It's like the Kentucky Derby. Now you have to set personal ringtones for each of us. I'll help you pick. Don't worry. Come on, Alma. Let's get our saddles. Be right there, Calypso. New phone. Congratulations. How's my big handsome guy? We have a surprise for you two. You do? What? You'll see. Just get ready to ride. Listen, Jazz, I gotta go. I'll help you later, okay? Okay, bye. Hello? Hey, Amber, I just had a call from Jasmine. She's having major computer problems. So you think maybe she accidentally saved the file on the wrong drive? Okay, I'll give her a call. Molly, we're heading out on the North Trail, okay? Jazz, it's me. Calm down, it's gotta be somewhere. Go folder by folder. Check every drive. What exactly are we looking for? Oh, you know, wild things. Shh, look. Make way for quails. Over there. Let's go see. Shh. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you whispering? We were watching a fawn stand up for the first time. We're on our way. Where are you? Too late now. We'll meet you at the crossroads, okay? Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. I'm setting my ring really low. Good Me idea. Too. Hey, guys. So, have you seen... Seen what? Oh, wait. It's a surprise. Come on, girl.
Jazz, did you find your file? You think you deleted it for good? Calm down, we'll get it back. Here's what you need to do. Yes, Molly. Speed dial works. Bye! Are you going to say something? If we don't tell her how rude she's being, how will she know? Remember when you got your first phone? Oh, yeah. Talking way too loud. Taking calls in movies and restaurants. And loud, obnoxious ringtones? She's got it bad. Wish me luck. Uh, Molly, I know how much you love your new phone, but... Maybe you could turn it off for a while? Why? Well, we're out in nature, and it's kind of rude to be calling people all the time. Rude? rude? Besides, we haven't seen you-know-what yet, and you're the only one who can ever spot it, Molly. She's got a point. We can show you texting later. Come on, Molly. <gasps> huh? Look, I'm sorry if I'm being rude, but Jasmine's lost her English paper, and it's due Monday. I promised I'd be there for her. Hi, Jazz. Did it work? No luck. Did you check your recycle bin? What's a recycle bin? Jasmine, I can't believe you. <sighs> we all went through it, right? Two days max, and we'll have our old Molly back. Thank you so much. You've showed me a whole new side to Horseland. I wish we hadn't run out of daylight. I wanted to be able to show you the surprise, but maybe next time? Maybe next time we'll leave our cell phones at home, or at least turn them off. <sighs> I'm cold. Race you back to the stable. You're Hello, going. Hey, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Come on, boy. After a long ride, we need to keep you warm. Let's get you rubbed down and get your blanket on. Good night, big guy. Night, Molly. Night! Hi, Jazz, what's up? I thought you got everything restored. Hello? Your battery's running low. There might still be a way to save it, but it's due tomorrow, Jazz. You're running out of time. Bye, Molly. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I gotta run. Call you from the bus, okay? Amber, shouldn't you be at your party? No, you definitely can't look too dressed up. The sequin jeans are hot. What do you wear on top? Nah, a t-shirt's way too casual. Wait a sec. <gasps> oh no, I'm gonna miss my bus! Gotta go, Am. <laughs> Bye, Calypso girl. See you tomorrow. She forgot, Calypso. She didn't mean to. Who'd leave a wet horse without a blanket in a cold barn when it's freezing outside? She forgot because she doesn't care. She doesn't love me anymore. At least not as much as she loves that darn cell phone. Don't say that. It's not true. This is spring. I was just practicing what Angora taught me. I am just as important as you, and I deserve just the same respect. <sighs> Sunburst didn't mean anything. We're worried about Calypso. It'd be nice to have a little quiet, that's all. Right. You horses can whinny and snort, but the lowly pig... Teeny, aren't you listening? Calypso's freezing. She's got no blanket. Oh, uh... Oh, gee, I, I didn't realize. Stay calm. I'll be back. Oh, Calypso, I am so sorry. 
This better be good, Shep. Calypso! Hold on, little gal! Good boy, Shep! Don't worry, Calypso. We'll get you warm again. This never should have happened. Hey, you never turn down a carrot. And Molly never forgets your blanket. Come sun up, I'll make sure this never happens to you again. Morning, girls. Hey, Calypso, how you feeling? Oh, girl. New Horseland policy. No cell phones in the stable. What? No way! We can't exist without our cell phones. When you're here, you gotta be paying attention to nothing but your horses. That's the rule. This is outrageous! Maybe illegal. Still not hungry? Did something happen to Calypso? Yep. Molly forgot to put her blanket on. We all know why. That stupid cell phone. Will Calypso be all right? I hope so. But she's still not eating. Will, we all get kind of silly the first time we get a cell phone. Yeah, Molly takes better care of her horse than any of us. I agree, Will. We'll talk to her. Whoa. What's going on? Jasmine, still trying to save her English paper. Hi, Jazz. Did you get the old or the new version back? You're supposed to click Restore. Hang it up. We have to talk to you about Calypso. Shh. I don't understand what you did wrong. Maybe tonight I can come over, okay? Sorry, what's up? You forgot to put Calypso's blanket on her last night. Jazz, I know it's due tomorrow. I am here for you. Molly, we have to talk to you. Can't you see I'm on the phone? We'll get her to listen, I promise. There she is! Hey, Mal! Hey! Who's going first today? My girl seems a little tired this morning. You still don't know what happened last night, do you? What? Yeah? Molly, we have to talk to you. It's about Calypso! Sorry, Jasmine is having a meltdown. I can't listen to two people at once. Jazz, I'm about to start jumping practice! Okay. Who goes first? I'll do it. Great, Jazz. You're making some progress. Thank goodness for this cell phone. No cell phones. No cell phones. Right. Gotta go. <gasps> Molly! Sarah, I am so sorry. Amber, I'll call you back. I programmed a new ringtone for Amber last night. I had no idea it was so loud. Loud? Obnoxious is more like it. That's it, Molly. Hand it over. What? Are you two okay? You all right, Scarlet? <clears throat> the phone. No, I can't do it. <gasps> Molly, Sarah almost fell because of you and that danged phone. I know, and I'm really sorry. I don't want anyone to get hurt. I'll put it on vibrate mode, okay? Fine, but if I hear one beep out of that thing... Jasmine, I really can't talk. Oh, no! Don't do anything, okay? I'll come help you after practice. You're up, Molly! I hope Molly can concentrate on what she's doing. Are you all right? Ugh. My phone! <gasps> oh, I hope it isn't broken! Ah! <gasps> 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 
It works! It still works! No, it doesn't, Molly! Yes! Yes, it does! Not for us, it doesn't. What did you say? Let's help her out, shall we? Hey! Give that back! Not until you hear us out. Molly, you need a cell phone intervention, and you need it bad. Look, I'm sorry. I meant to mute my phone, but then Jasmine called, and she was so upset, I forgot. Nope, Molly. Doesn't fly. You put us all in danger with this thing. Not to mention, you've been really rude to everybody, and you don't even know it. Look, we all love our phones, but you aren't being Molly anymore. <laughs> don't be silly. Would the Molly we know and love forget Clipso's blanket on a freezing cold night? If Will hadn't checked on her, she could be really sick right now. But Calypso seems fine. Maybe a little sleepy. Does she? <gasps> oh, Calypso. She looks sad. Calypso, what have I done? I am so sorry. I guess I've been so envious of my friends having their own phones. And I've been saving up my allowance for so long. It was kind of overwhelming to finally get one. That's no excuse for forgetting your blanket. Oh, Calypso, you are my dearest, most precious friend. Can you forgive me? <laughs> <laughs> what would I do without you? <laughs> cool. Aw, so sweet. <laughs> Somebody's glad to have you back. We're glad to have you back too, Molly. Here. I don't know what I'd do without all of you, either. Here we go. Where's that mute button? I owe all of you a big apology, too. You've all had your phones for a while. Just fill me in on the do's and don'ts tip list. Uh, after all this, maybe we need to be filled in on that tip list, too. And if I forget, I know who will set me straight. You can count on it. So, can I have a do-over? Try to make things right? What kind of a do-over? You'll see. Ready to ride? Hey, yeah! Where's she going? Come on. Come on, Will. Woohoo! Woo Come on, Pepper. <laughs> cool. Where'd she go? Molly. We'll see you there. Come on! Hiya! Especially you, Calypso. She'll be okay now, won't she? She sure eats like it. If you hadn't come in, I don't know if I would have noticed that Calypso didn't have a blanket. Well, I... What did I tell you, Teeny? Stop simpering! Be assertive! But I was being rude and uncaring to Calypso. And if you think being sorry is simpering, I don't think I want to have any more of your assertiveness training. <laughs> Rudeness is a subject I know absolutely nothing about. <laughs> Good for you, Tina. You had something important to say, and you did it by being assertive without being rude. I'm impressed. Huh. Maybe I did learn something useful from that cat. <laughs>